Good, I'm glad we keep giving Alex control over those letters. Oh hi, welcome to Monthly Mail Time. I'll explain this later. Envelopes. Mr. Graham Stark. That's me. Dear Dr. Zlur, greetings from Sheffield, England. I've been a fan of LRR since the Zero Punctuation crossover you did back in 2009, and you provided me with a whole lot of entertainment since then. So first of all, thank you for that. My girlfriend and I recently visited Japan for the second time, and it was great. We've been planning this trip pretty much since we returned from our first to Tokyo two years ago, and the videos from your trip were a real inspiration for us. In fact, it's through you that I found out the Todaiji Temple in Nara and realized we absolutely had to go there. It's pretty sweet. Feeding the deer was an amazing experience, though I must say it was a little scary when they started crowding us. Yeah, the deer get really, um, they don't really care about, uh, per per personal space. As a token of my gratitude, please, please find enclosed a pack for you to crack and a Japanese bump in the night to add to the collection. Would have loved to send you a whole box of Japanese goodies, but we were traveling light since we had to carry everything we bought on our backs. I know that feel as well, and do not worry, uh, John and Doris, thank you so much, because Morton's back at it with the Tokyo Treat. Thank you, Morton, as ever, for that. So we get plenty of Japanese goodies and Spectacle Fighter on Instagram for pictures of the trip to Japan. Hey, you went to Big Magic. I went to Big Magic as well. Big Magic has all sorts of cool stuff. And this is a pack of, ooh, Japanese Conspiracy and a Japanese Bump in the Night. Well, thank you, John and Doris. Hope you had a good time in Japan. This envelope is sealed with wax. Now there's shards of wax everywhere. <laughs> oh, there's more wax on the inside. Dear Loading Ready Run, welcome to the Forgotten Folio Society. You've either chosen, or have been chosen, to partake in our archive of forgotten artifacts. Our society collects and disseminates pieces of history so that we may share and enjoy the stories they tell and save them from obs obfuscation. Even when I'm reading it aloud, I can't say that word. Over the next four months, you will receive four mailings that will give you an account of Project Open Sky. The story will feature artifacts from World War II, the 1980s, and the present day. Oh! It's a story, it's like a mailing list story time with props. Check it out. Oh, that's cool. There's like handwritten notes. Oh, rad. Well, thanks, whoever signed us up for that. I will uh, I look forward to following the story. Next, this. Do not bend. Okay. Dear Graham, since you're probably the one reading this, I was about to send off this package and realized without some kind of note it would be a bit strange. Inside here you'll find a few things. A collector's edition, oh yes, a collector's edition Mox Jet for Alex, which Alex has already received and is very grateful of. And a small perler heart. Uh, as for the Pearl of Heart, it's something I made. I don't really have a place for it, so I figured I'd send it as a little decoration for one of the various shelves in the new moon base. We do have, like, so much decoration space here now. I was pretty upset about missing out on the most recent pre-pre-release, not being able to help out with running the LRMGG Judge account, but I ended up spending that day out at a uh, Star City 5K and ended up winning it, which qualified me for the Star City Invitational in December, so my day wasn't that bad. Sincerely, Quinn, the Tunneling Cat. Congratulations, Quinn, and thank you so much. This box is, like, suspiciously light. I recognize the name on it, so I'm curious to see what we have been sent. What in the God's name, dear goodness Christ. Hello, Graham and fellow Lurfolk. One of the people I follow on Twitter posted a picture of this hat saying he had one as a kid. I tracked it down on eBay and bought it. It's the most perfect feed dump hat I've seen in years. Apparently, it's a team hat for the Minnesota Gophers. Keep being amazing from Dana and Dan. Dana and Dan give us those amazing gift bags at the PAX panel. And now they've given us this hat. The Minnesota Gophers. Terrific. <laughs> Thank you, Dana and Dan. What's in this envelope? Oh, wait, here we go. Bam! Ooh, that one actually worked. Hi, LRR. We've been watching you. I've been watching you guys. Let me start that all over again. Hey, LRR! Exclamation mark. I've been watching you guys since about 2007, which now that I write that down, almost sounds crazy. Yeah, it's the full 10 years. You all have been a consistent part of a third of my life now, and your humor and consistency has helped me through some dark times. I cannot thank you enough for everything you've done and continue to do. You're all amazingly kind and supportive people who've built up an incredible supportive community. You also got me back in MTG, and after some cleaning, I discovered I have a bunch of random packs. I've sent a selection. Hope you find something sweet. Thanks again. 
Patrick, aka Fuzzy Genius. And Patrick has sent a wide variety of packs. We've got Theros, Hour of Devastation, Shadows over Innistrat, Conspiracy, 2015 Karaset, Jernin Intinix, and Gods. Thank you, Fuzzy Genius. I like this box. This is a it's a it's a nice it's a nice size of box. That feel when you try to open boxes the wrong way. Casters against the multiverse. Uh-oh. The world's most successful collectible card game meets the world's most infamous party game. This is a 150 card unofficial expansion for Cards Against Humanity. It requires that game and is practically useless without it. I mean, that's not true, but sure. It seems like a way to make a whole bunch of people mad at you. I'm still waiting for a functional reprint of Going Infinite, the Storm Mechanic. My shitty deck. Punching a goddamn bear in the face. Hey! Wait a minute! Judge! A bigger blacker lotus. That's... Alright. That's pretty good. Wizards may print a lot of things, but they'll never print the long-awaited third unset. Oh, proven wrong! I recall someone saying on Twitter that I should be expecting something from the Game Crafter, um, but I don't... I can't find that information. Um, so I guess thank you very much, and uh, perhaps we'll play around with that. Oh, there's more from the Game Crafter. Yeah, there's no note, unfortunately, um, with that other one, and there probably won't be from this one. Like, obviously, thank you regardless, but I don't know... Oh my Jesus. No, this is what I was told to expect from the Game Crafter. This is... The Fantastic Adventures of Professor Pigglesworth. Welcome to the Fantastic Adventures of Professor Pigglesworth, where magical pigs love to hunt truffles, truffles and mate with neighboring pigs. Based on the hit social game of 2011, that does not exist. You maniac. Bryce, of course. Dear Loading Ready Run, I'm glad you've discovered this letter within this gift. My wife and I, Echo CD, that's who it was. You were the one talking to me on Twitter about the Game Crafter. I've been following since Desert Bus 2 and have greatly enjoyed all of your content today. You provided a weekly source of entertainment when we started dating and will always hold a special place in our lives. We tell the story of your help with our marriage proposal during Desert Bus 3. See? See? It lasts. Huh? It's that Loading Ready Run bump with the with the marriage proposal. Also, real smart, by the way, to include your letter, <laughs> like, <laughs> as part of your Game Crafter design, to make sure that we'd get it. It's good. It's good. We're really excited about the future of LRR. Loading Ready Live is our favorite streaming content, while Hustle remains our favorite scripted content. Adam's increased presence with infectious enthusiasm has been great. We're interested to see where you take this new Ben character as he gears up to take on the lead role in the impending LRR, the next generation spinoff. He's not that much younger than the rest of us. We joke about it, just because he's younger. But he's not, like, he's not that much younger. Bringing on James full-time this year was a really exciting step for longtime fans. Same. As I write this, you've just finished your first week of streaming from Moonbase Mark V. Once you have fully functional ventilation and AC, I'm sure it'll be amazing. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. It's actually, this gopher hat is actually a little irritatingly warm. Now for the contents of this box, welcome to the Fantastic Adventures of Professor Pigglesworth, the board game. The best LRR-inspired board game the world has ever seen. This has been a passion project off and on for the past six years and is a fully functional game. The theme draws its inspiration from the original Checkpoint episode from 2011. The QR code on the back of the box is a YouTube link to that episode. Needless to say, I'm happy you've kept him around as a recurring character all these years. We literally made a Professor Pigglesworth joke in the most recent checkpoint which you wouldn't have known because you sent this some time ago but that's that's pretty amazing the game design is completely original has been tweaked through many playtesting sessions over the years while a statistics degree may not have helped me with creating original art it does provide an advantage when developing game mechanics you can add this to the eternal stack of games to play on afk no kidding i hope the checkpoint crew gets a kick out of this unique piece of fan art Sin sincerely david echo cd from frisco texas p.s the worst of the ink smell of the cards dissipates if you let them sit out overnight <laughs> You gotta let the cards breathe. Whoo. Mmm. Oh, those free monomers. Waff. Look at all this. Club Soda, Spot the Dog, the Nest Box 360. Magic cards, but, like, creatively spelled to avoid copyright issues. Creepy Doll. Oh man. Thank you so much, Echo CD. This this is amazing. I'm really looking forward to playing it. Thank you. From San Jose. Aha! Uh -huh. Always cut towards yourself. You seriously put a bag in a box in a bag. 
This is like Japanese confectionery levels of redundant packaging. It's like past the parcel. Oh my god, are you proposing? Wow, it's an Overwatch pin? It's an Overwatch lapel pin, but this is like, this, this is handmade. That's so cool, there's no note. It's from Evelyn? Thank you. Wow, that's so pretty. Thank you, Evelyn. I was giving you grief about it, but I appreciate the, the, the presentation. Also, very nice. Also, we don't have one of these, like, as a prop, one of these boxes. Which you'd think, you know, that that would come up from time to time. Thanks! This, before it gets lost in the ongoing pile of detritus over there. I don't want to hurt what's in this bag, because it looks fuzzy. Oh, Christ. Dear Graham and everyone at Loading Ready Run. I'm talking loud because it's a big font. We've been watching your content since that Skip Blue premiered on The Escape and have been huge fans ever since. Hardly a day goes by without us enjoying some kind of content you produce. As an added bonus, little Penelope is almost exactly one year older than our son is, and it's always fun when she comes on screen to get a preview of what our little one will be acting like a year in advance. Happy to be that canary for you. Uh, while on a road trip vacation this summer, we found the enclosed hat at the five... The 50,000 silver dollar bar in western Montana. Our first and only thought was it deserved the grandeur of a feed dump showcase. Hope this finds everyone at the New Moon Base doing well, and we wish you years and years of success and happiness. Derek, Portia, and little Danny Brown. Oh wait, no, it's even... That's even worse now that I'm looking at it. This is not a hat. This is a... This is a cowl. Why? Also, where'd it go? Where'd the packaging go? You wrote down, or maybe it was the post office clerk, wrote down teddy bear hat in the customs declaration there. This is a beaver. You've sent us a particularly Canadian hat from, uh, from Montana. It's got the buck teeth and everything, and the, the tendrils, just like all Canadian beavers have. And here's me going like, well, I actually, you know, the even the gopher hat's getting a little warbid here. Well, spoke too soon, I guess. Thank you, this hat is amazing. What is this? Amazon. A gift for you. Dear LRR, thanks for the great streams. Longtime fan, I really loved the tabletop day stream. Couldn't play that day myself. Enjoyed this better witch-themed game. Mea culpa, Anne, from Dawn. It is a game called Salem. Oh, welcome to Salem. I can't read with this. The year is 1692 and the witch hunt in Salem, Massachusetts is heating up. Nice, that's cute by the way. It's like not like funny, but it's cute. In this game, players each representing an actual person from the town of Salem gather cards that they use to accuse or defend other players. Once all witch trial cards have been found, the townspeople of Salem win. During the gameplay, night allows witches to kill a player unless saved by the trusty constable. It sounds kind of like a werewolf-esque sort of thing, but the witch trials. Also, nice packaging. Well, thank you, Voodont Wow, on Twitch. It's going in the pile, or at least on the shelf, but also in the pile of potential games to play. Big old box here. Read me! I explain things. What is it with these hats today? Monster. You utter monsters typesetting stuff in papyrus. First of all, I apologize. Let's start with the contents of this box. The first thing that may catch your eye is the hat. Yeah. Yes, it is a moose hat. Haha, ha. send the Canadians a moose hat. Very original. Don't worry, you're in great company today. At least this one doesn't literally impair my vision. As an avid LRR enthusiast, I took the time at each store we went to to find a funny hat to send you. In the bottom of the box, there was an inspired gift for my travels to Alaska. In one of the many gift shops I looked for a funny hat, I found Alaska-sized playing cards. To be fair, Alaska's very big. People in the lower 48 tend to underestimate how big it is until you see one of those Images where Alaska is like superimposed over the continental U.S. and it's like, oh, uh, but I thought Texas would no, Alaska though. Thank you. I have included some candy as is tradition with these mail time things. The rest of this letter is unimportant in the timeline of the mail time episodes. Okay, I'm gonna read it though. I like Corpline too.
During my time in Alaska, we didn't have much much cell service or internet, but when I did, I downloaded all of Corpline to show them to my brother. He had recently turned 19, and I wanted to make he's 19 jokes and actually have him understand the reference. Oh yeah, and the candy, by the way, is um, Jolly Rancher. It's a Jolly Rancher and Twizzlers like Halloween combo bundle. It's got twists, pull and peel, sticks, and lollipops. Underrated. Chocolates were the better one, but I always enjoyed a break from chocolates on Halloween, you know? So, hey, thank you, uh, Ryan, ShadowLink121 in chat. Much appreciated. And thanks for font trolling me with your letter. This package, interesting shipping manifest. Magic the Gathering card collectibles. Oh, the simplicity of Times New Roman. Dear Doctors Loading Ready Run, and also likely Graham, I just wanted to thank you for your years of work, great material, and your dedication to an inspiring craft. I got into you guys unknowingly back during the escapist days with early checkpoint and unskippable when a friend introduced me to your website. I took perhaps an embarrassing amount of time to connect the two, as by the same people, most people did. But I'm happy to be your fan twice over, and I'm sending you a small, something nice for you guys to enjoy. It closes a book I saw and couldn't resist acquiring. Maybe you'll think of something fun to do with it for the next Desert Bus for Hope. Check the chapter breaks in the book for that something nice I promised. Go and look for them. Credit goes to you, Graham, for getting my chat name right. Huh. Zargrius. Zargrius in chat. It's uh, Jeff. Keep up the great material. I'll keep introducing it to my friends, family, and loved ones until they all understand the references I will insist on making. Wait, what the what? What is this? Also, what the holy moly? Hang on. At the chapter breaks are card altars I've done. I figured I would send them to you as a token of my appreciation for all that you do. That's so cool. It's the Wily Bunder. Surak, punch many bears. There's a forest. Sidisi. Green Lantern. It says Green Lantern. It's a, um... Uh... Eternal... It doesn't have the real name here. It's the 2-1 with prowess for one and a blue. Doesn't really matter, because it's Green Lantern now. Anna Fenza, Neheb, Superman of the Trials, uh, Helsing? I don't know what card this is was originally. Oh, and CDC's pet. Those are super cool. I, I still can't get my head around what the hell this book is. It looks like it's a collection of short stories by different people it's inspired by Desert Bus? How have I never heard of this? Some feedback. This looks cool. Nowhere does it explain what this is or why. It just, it says Desert Bus and it's full of short stories that to, to my eyes only seem to be related by their relationship to the video game Desert Bus. I'm just sort of baffled. I love your altars though. Thank you so much, Zargrius. Appreciate it. All right, last thing for today. Last thing for today. Or for this month, I suppose. Did I ever say welcome to monthly mail time at the beginning? I don't think I did. There, I just recorded an intro to put at the beginning of the video to make up for my failure. Dear Loading Ready Run, I have had these comics laying around for a few decades and just realized they should go to you. Okay, do whatever you want with them, sell them for operating cash, auction for desert bus, keep them if someone wants them. Whatever, they're so 70s. I must have been following you for more than a decade since my daughter and her husband introduced me. They're teaching me MTG now. It's been a joyful ride along to watch you grow and diversify. I was lucky to get to meet some of you at PAX Prime in 2011 and go to your panel. Your work is so much fun and never mean and I can relax and laugh bunches. Thanks so much for all you do. Missy Cephia Shannon O'Donnell from Paradise, California, who I assume is in this group of people with whom we took a giant thinking pose picture at PAX. 2011, where you said, you said that. So yeah, it packs. I like 70s comics. Oh wow, these are 70s. Zap Comics, the comic that plugs you in. Freak Brothers and the Adventures of Fat Freddy's Cat. The best of Ripoff Press Volume 2. R. Crumb's Head Comics. Hi kids, I'm Fritz the Cat. Meow. That really looks like a cat that says meow rather than making the noise meow. Thank you, this is so, so, such an utterly strange gift. Not bad strange, just different. It's so, so delightful. Thank you. I'm gonna take this hat off. Today was all 
fuzzy hats. Why? Why do you do this to me? Why? Hey, that's gonna do it for this monthly mail time for September 2017. Thanks so much for joining us, and as always, for sending us these things and these kind letters. And uh, see you next month. Bye bye. Oh, there's a thing there still. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. This is gonna be wait. We made a noise. This will be way smooth. Trust me. Bye bye. Oh, come on. Bye bye. Wait. There we go. Bye bye. That wasn't worth it. Well, we're all in this together. <laughs>